All right, welcome back, everybody. Box five. Box five of case four. Coming to you. Appreciate everybody watching. If you haven't yet, hit that like button. Subscribe. Leave me some comments. Any, uh, any likes you can give me are always appreciated. They help... Uh, help YouTube decide if they want to suggest my video more to people or not, so. All right. I'll skip explaining the pack order to you here, and we'll uh, just get into the openings, but. <clears throat> Haven't seen a showcase yet out of the, uh, out of the case. They are one every every two cases so it's not always highly likely that you are going to hit one in every case um, some people have said they've hit two in a box again like I've said it before those are, that's one of those I'll believe it if I uh, if I see it happen I did hit two in a single case Finally, finally, huge hit, Darth Vader, and a fleet lieutenant at the back. Needed another Vader. I'll, uh, protect that guy in a perfect fit. There we go. That is a solid hit for the first legendary. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, I think it was case two, maybe case three, but... Those videos, uh, check those out if you're interested in the other content from Star Wars. But, uh, in there, do, uh, ooh, Count Dooku, there we go. Nice foil rare hit. Um, but yeah, no, uh, case two, I did hit two showcases. Pretty good, so. Nothing, uh, nothing to complain about there. I mean, I am averaging a uh, basically one showcase per uh, per case that I've opened. There's a U-wing reinforcement and the partisan insurgent common. Go ahead and sleeve up this U-wing. <clears throat> yeah, I think. Uh, well, actually, I guess a little better. Um, Pulled three out of cases directly, and then two out of pre-release kits. So, Electro Staff and a Crafty Smuggler. Space foil on the back here behind the Han Solo. Boom! <laughs> there we go. Millennium Falcon. Just complaining that this case uh, in the last video was uh, was pretty much a dud because hadn't hit a uh, hadn't hit a Vader, hadn't hit a even a regular hyperspace legendary. Um, I mean. Pulling some good numbers on the uh, on the hyperspaces, but or not the hyperspaces, but the legendaries, but they were all kind of blah legendary. Well, I'm glad I opened this box. <laughs> all right, there we go. Boba Fett, Boba Fett in hyperspace. So. First four boxes, not uh, not a lot to write home about, but this box so far, we're not even halfway through. We only have one of the three regular legendaries, and we've got a hyperspace legendary and a foil hyperspace legendary, so. Hell yeah, <laughs> all right, <clears throat> all right. The only thing that'll make this better is 
a showcase. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> or even another foil hyperspace legendary. Don't know I've seen two pulled out of a uh, out of a box though. So have seen two hyperspaces. Like regular hyperspaces, but never two foil hyperspaces. And a Mace Windu. There we go. There's our second legendary. I don't recall if Mace typically follows with Vader or not, but we're going to go ahead and hide Mace back there. Because those three are a lot better. and an escort skiff. I think those three cards combined are, uh, are I mean, probably the Vader and the Boba are more than the cost of the box, so value finally showing up. Agent Callus and a Car Colonel Yalaren. All that in just the first half of the box. We are on to the right side of the box now. And we still have what should be at least one more legendary and two more hyperspace foils coming to us. And an Obi-Wan Kenobi and a Metal Ceremony. Aiden. Traitorous. Before these get too out of hand. And Sabine Wren. Palpatine and the Scout Bike Pursuer. Fallen Lightsaber and the Gladiator Star Destroyer. I think I've got a play set of these out of this case already. Maybe more. Frontline Shuttle and the Corellian Freighter. Seventh Legion, Relentless, and the Attack Pattern Delta. About half this stack left, so about six packs left in the box. Cantina Braggart. Vigilance. There we go. There's our third legendary. Regular legendary, that is. Again, there we go. All right. Still looking to, for two more hyperspace foils. Most of these boxes in this case have had four. Four regular legendaries, except for I think one 
box only had the th or had the three. So there's a regional governor, uh, Delmico, and ooh, awesome, awesome, hyperspace foil vanquish. I think I pulled one of those in my pre-release packs too. Right. Continuing on. Third hyperspace of the pack. And you're my only hope. And Holy shit. <laughs> All right. Foil legendary black one. Six legendaries in this box. I had one box that was uh, close to this, but definitely not uh, not close on the value or which uh, which cards I actually pulled. So this, I think, is by far the best box I've opened. Can we be greedy? Make it seven third or our fourth uh, fourth foil hyperspace being another legendary Just smoke and cinders and rebel assault all right last pack we're gonna end this with just the one I mean, unless I missed one somewhere else in there we're gonna end this with just three hyperfoils Spark of Rebellion and the Liberator Gunship. Let me make sure I didn't miss it, just in case. Nope. Nope. And definitely not. So, all right, only three foil hyperspaces in this one, but uh, yeah, one of them was a, whoops, sorry. One of them was a legendary, so Millennium Falcon for the win. Boba Fett hyperspace for the win, Darth Vader for the win, foil black one for the win. This, uh, yeah, uh, this pays for like two, two and a half boxes right here. So definitely, definitely an awesome, awesome opening. Well, appreciate everybody watching. Take it easy and have a good one.